Let's get to the bond market now. It's been all the talk as we're closely watching some key levels, especially on the 10 year. Rick Santelli, what are they? Yes, key levels in the 10 year. If we close above 347, and I'm not sure that's even possible at this point, but that would be a positive. Below the market, right around 323 is very solid support. But do keep in mind, these prices are moving around like commodity prices, like crazy wheat prices in the heat of the summer. Big ranges. Liquidity sometimes an issue. This morning, 9.45 Eastern, service sector was better. It reversed rates higher. Look at two-year. It was over 5% this month. And if you look at tens, they were over 4% this month. But go back to October, they never traded over their fall highs. HYG, high-yield ETF, not keeping up with the investment grade. LQD, and that differentiation of credit's important. When was the last time you saw people avoiding banks moving into corporate? Hey, let's go see what Dave's up to. Dave, Dave, yes. Dave, Dave. Yeah, Rick. Hi, right. Dave, we're on camera here. It's been a crazy week. What are you seeing? Uh, there's panic. There's panic in the air. People want the zero-day options. They want options ne expiring near term because they never know. Going into a weekend, Friday, well, you don't know what's going to happen. Now, you know, when they say uh, we have everything under control, don't worry, what usually happens? Exactly, exactly. And it always comes out on a Friday afternoon. They wait till the markets close down, give people time to kind of relax and digest the news. And then all of a sudden, then Monday comes around. You know, many are pointing out, and me included, that when you look at the big VIX, it barely touched 30. It's well below that point. Do you think zero-day options have taken a little of the thunder away from the historic relevance For, of VIX? Absolutely, because they're always constantly expiring. And so there's there's that premium that where you before hold an option for a month or two, well, that's, that, that option's expiring in a couple days. Fed Fund Futures, they're, they're very good. It's a wonderful contract. But I personally say it's just like a T-bill market when things get nuts. It's pricing and eases. Your final thoughts. Do you really think we're going to see the Fed pause, pause, and then start to ease? Absolutely. They kind of have to. They're forced here. If there's a real banking situation, politicians, the media, they'll tell you everything's okay. But if there's a real banking situation, th they can't keep raising. It's always interesting to get your opinions, Dave. My Have man. a great weekend. Right. Tyler, back, back to you. To you. Oh, <laughs> all right. Love that, man. Not enough energy there. Not enough energy. Love it.